core image lets us generate a QR code from any input string and do so extremely quickly. However, there's a problem. The image it generates is very small because it's only as big as the pixels required to show its data. It's trivial to make the QR code larger, but to make it look good, we also have to adjust SwiftUI's image interpolation. So in this step, we're going to ask the user to enter their name and email address in a form. Use those two pieces of information to generate a QR code identifying them and scale up the code without making it fuzzy. We already have a simple me view struct that we made as a placeholder earlier. So our first job will be to add a couple of text fields and their string bindings. First, add these two new pieces of state to hold a name and email address. At state, private var, name equals anonymous. At state, private var, email address equals you at your site.com. When it comes to the body of the view, we're going to use two text fields with large fonts, then a spacer to push everything to the top of the screen. This time we're going to attach a small but useful modifier to the text fields called text content type, which tells iOS what kind of information we're asking the user for. This should allow iOS to provide autocomplete data on behalf of the user, which makes the app nicer to use. So replace your current body with this. Navigation view, vStack, text field, name, text dollar name. Text content type is name, I use title font and add some horizontal padding. Then text field email address, bound to dollar email address. This time using the email address text content type, another large font, and add padding horizontally and below. Then add a spacer. And the title of the navigation bar will say your code. We're going to use the name and email address fields to generate a QR code which is a square collection of black and white pixels that can be scanned by phones and other devices. Core Image has a filter for this built in, and as you've learned how to use Core Image filters, previously you'd find this is very similar. First, we have to bring in all the Core Image filters using a new import. Import Core Image .ci filter built ins. Second, we need two properties to store an active Core Image context and an instance of Core Image's QR code generator filter. So add these two to me view. Let context equals CI context. Let filter equals CI filter dot QR code generator. Now for the interesting part, making the QR code itself. If you remember, working with Core Image filters requires us to use set value for key one or more times to provide input data. Then convert the output CI image into a CG image, then that CG image into a UI image. We'll be following the same steps here, except first, our input for the method will be a string, but the input from our filter is data, so we have to convert that. Second, if the conversion fails for any reason, we'll send back the xmark.circle image from SF symbols. And third, if that can't be read, which is theoretically possible because of SF symbols being stringly typed, then we'll send back an empty UI image. So add this method to the me view struct now. Funk generate QR code from string string returns UI image. Let data equals data string.utf8 filter.set value data for key input message. If let output image equals filter.output image if let cg image equals context.create cg image, output image, from output image.extent, then return UI image, cg image, cg img. If that fails, then return UI image, system name, xmark.circle, nil coalescing UI image. Isolating all that functionality in a method works really well in Swift UI because it means the code we put in the body property stays as simple as possible. In fact, we can just use image UI image directly with a call to generate QR code from, then scale up to a sensible size on screen. Swift UI makes sure the method gets called every time name or email address changes. In terms of the string to pass in to generate QR code from, we'll be using the name and email address entered by the user separated by a line break. 
This is a nice and simple format, and it's easy to reverse when it comes to scanning these codes later on. Add this new image view directly before the spacer. Image, UI image, generate QR code, from, name, line break, email address. Dot resizable, dot scale to fit, dot frame, width 200, height 200. If you run the code, you'll see it works pretty well. You'll see a default QR code, but you can also type into either of the two text fields to make the QR code change dynamically. However, take a close look at the QR code. Do you notice how fuzzy it is? This is because Core Image is making a tiny image, and SwiftUI is trying to smooth out the pixels as we scale it up. Line art, like QR codes and barcodes, is a great candidate for disabling image interpolation. Try adding this modifier to the image to see what I mean. Dot interpolation, dot none. Now the QR code will be rendered nice and sharp, because SwiftUI will just repeat pixels rather than trying to blend them neatly. I would imagine cameras don't care which gets used, but it looks much better to users.